What up, Lee Bro? Going? Welcome back to the channel. For those that are new, welcome. For those that are returning, thank you. I just did a reading for Virgo, and damn, Virgo had me sweating like on a whole nother level. Very intense reading. It's very good. If you would like to check it out, I'd highly recommend it. For those of you that may have Virgo in your chart or are with a Virgo. Let's get straight into your reading. I'm going to pull uh, two cards from the Wildwood Tarot and I'm going to pair it with two cards from, from Moonology. Okay. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? The Nine of Arrows. Okay. One more, please. Oh, and the journey. Okay, makes sense. Yes. So this is part of the message that I should have delivered yesterday. Um, but it's okay because you've already done this. So if anything, it's just a uh, confirmation that the messages I have been telling you thus far are all synchronized and part of the oneness of the consciousness of this world. So we have the Nine of Arrows and the Journey. Let's read the Nine of Arrows for you, Libra. My Libra legions. Nine of Arrows. Okay, here we are. Okay, so now that you've felt and feel and begun this new spiritual contract, as I just said that, lit right up. Yep. Dedication. It's time to dedicate yourself to the oneness of this universe, okay? The spiritual warrior dedicates their arrows of inspiration by playing the bow as an instrument of surmounting. Of summoning, I'm sorry. The inner oath helps keep one on a balanced footing by dedicating skills to a greater good. To heed the calling to dedicate one's life to any skill, spiritual path, belief system, or philosophy requires sincerity, self-discipline, and hard work. Sorry, I'm looking over here because I just got a message for you. It says, build up your strength, Libra. Are you hiding your feelings, right? Today you feel as though you are completely alone. It's hard to be true to yourself when you treat yourself like a product. Why are you so much harder on yourself than you are on anyone else? Focus your attention on the space between your eyes. Your third eye. Focus on the space between your eyes. Dedicate your space between your eyes. Dedicate your time. Okay. It is a sacred summoning that requires time and effort. Yes, time and effort. For those who hear the calling and become spiritual warriors, right? So if you're hearing ringing in your ears or you're going to sleep feeling unusual, right? Different. It's because you're being called to become a spiritual warrior and protector of this land. Responsibility and sacrifice are also required. To deny that the human species has had a negative effect on the planet's climate and atmosphere seems totally redundant, right? It's definitely happening. But the growing awareness of our individual impact on the ecosystem may take on greater significance in the future. 
we cannot predict what effect our avarice and rapacious, rapacious exploitation of the land will eventually produce. But the dedicated defender of the soil must protect the living legacy we leave for our children. Yes, the legacy, your legacy. It says it right here. To teach by example the value of respecting others' beliefs and philosophies and honoring the land is immensely important. Sometimes a simple daily ritual reminds us of the oath we have taken to conserve and protect the environment. Dedicate yourself to the task of preserving the land and be part of what? Making a difference. Okay, so the journey here, this is something obviously that you already did because you had to have done this to have become part of Judgment, the Great Bear, the World Tree. These all cards go, this trifecta of cards of major arcana energy, all are part of the oneness. Um, just to... Show you what I'm talking about in previous readings when I've used these cards I've slowly have given you one big message essentially yesterday you got the great bear but the other big part here of this trifecta of message is the world tree and this is part of that energy shift that you've experienced and have felt. This is the world tree. So it's all four seasons. It's fall, spring. Or I'm sorry, it's spring, summer, fall, and winter. We have the great bear. So it's 2021 20, and then it goes down to number 13. So if 13, 21, and 20 are of significance to you, or uh, 33, 34, 41, 43, these are all numbers that are tied to this reading. In numerology, we also have seven and eight and six, okay? So, as a metaphor for cyclic change, the journey is a required experience on the passage around the wheel. It may mean the death of old ideas or concepts that have outlived their usefulness, right? So this is that part of the journey of letting go. This is why you may have dreams of past experiences in life, traumatic events, old relationships, it's essentially you revisiting and giving yourself closure so that you can let those portions of yourself go. Death doesn't necessarily mean you dying in this 3D world. It could be just a part of you dying that it's no longer useful. It may be that it is a time to strip to the bare bone the essentials of your nature so that the fears of eurosis can be faced and cleansed. There may be some laying to rest with love and joy of a long dead relationship or an old and bitter grievance. I just said this. I just said this, right? In, a, in different words. But the journey is not to be feared. Yes. It is an in inevitable and natural part of life to be celebrated and accepted. I mean, I feel like I go over this constantly, how you shouldn't fear death because death isn't essentially what people make it out to be. If, and, and, I, and I'm like, I can't even speak. I don't know. I'm not even, I'm not even sure if I should, I'm supposed to say this. Wait a second. Let me, let me discuss with my spirit.
Okay, while I'm discussing, <laughs> I'm like forgetting what I was even about to say. But it's okay because I think they made me forget what I was going to say because they want me to say this instead. So I talk about this all the time, how death is, uh, you know, perceived in this negative light of like, oh my God, you're, you know, I'm dead, I'm going to die. Like, but it's purposely painted in that way. Because only the true people, the true individuals, so if you're watching this reading, it's because it's for you. Only the true will be admitted. Only the true will be invited and accepted. This is an open invitation. Don't get me wrong. It's for anyone and everyone, but you have to want it. You have to desire it and seek it and follow it, right? So if you want to be part of this legendary legacy, and this is why I'm always talking about live out your best legacy, is because there's so much potential. And again, it's like, Legacy and legend may be perceived the complete opposite of death, but death is legacy. Death is legend, right? So this is kind of why I specifically and worked with my spirit team to come up with a name that had a deeper meaning and symbolism, right? There is an importance here that... I bring the messages and awareness so that you guys can connect the dots and see the synchronicities of everything that I'm saying so that you can become one with the con the like the universe one with the big G one with the consciousness do you want to become part of the consciousness of the big G do you want to know how the big G thinks if you do, the journey is an inevitable and natural part of life, and it is to be celebrated and accepted. You will have and see things change before your eyes when you start accepting and celebrating death. It sounds strange, right? But what do people do when we, they gather for someone's death they celebrate their life they have a funeral there's a wake right there's roses it's a ceremony it's a ritual they are stepping into a whole nother beautiful part of life we have the ability to experience portions of death in this 3d world so that we can sign new spiritual contracts, become newer versions of ourselves, shape shift into new eras of our time, of our life. But it's time to use your knowledge, your wisdom, so that you can make a difference for the future, for the legacy of your children, for the legacy of your family, for the legacy of your reputation, your image, right? Whatever that may look like for you. To end this reading, I'm going to pull a few messages from Moonology. Two. Oh my god. Two to be exact. Okay, these cards don't want to shuffle like that. So I'm going to shuffle them like this. Spirit, what does Libra need to know? One more, please. What does Libra need to know? Okay. Two and two, four for the seasons of the world tree. Four seasons, four major message here it's time to release the negativity right out with the old in with the new your hard work is paying off so continue to dedicate yourself hold your vision hold your vision hold that vision that prophecy that future that you have in mind 
We have full moon in Scorpio. Some of you may have Scorpio in your chart or have Scorpio moon. We have the fixed moon. We have new moon in Capricorn. And we have the new moon in Virgo. It's a time to give rather than to take. Okay, so this is in your future position in the end. A lot of you, as myself, will be uh, donating and volunteering to charitable events, doing humanitarian work, being of service, and giving back so freely what we were blessed with or what I was blessed with, right? It goes on a case-by-case -case basis. I hope you choose to do something similar with your time and money. Um, look at the energy, the auras of these cards. This one is like magical for me. It's a time to give rather than take. Hold your vision. This one also sticks out to me a lot. They all do, but you know. I hope this message resonated. If it did, Libra, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you haven't already. If you want to become a member of this channel and get access to extended readings, perks, posts, knowledges, uh, extended wisdom, messages, uh, emojis, make sure you hit that join button. I will soon start introducing links to these videos to join. Um, we're using pink quartz as your healing crystal. For those of you that are opening up to love, this is for that. And I hope I, that I can manifest or help and assist you manifest proper love into your life. Uh, pink quartz is a lot about love, connection. So I hope that I can send it up to the universe so that it can be mirrored down to you. For those of you that are seeking and opening yourself up to love. A lot of you are. A lot of you signs in general are. As of right now. Um, much love. Stay pure. Stay blessed. And you already know. Do not forget to live out your best. Look, go, show. Stay protected. Continue to cleanse yourself. Light those candles.